All right, YouTube, we're here for round one of the Modern Challenge. <clears throat> we lost a die roll. This is going to be one of those days. This is going to be one of those days. Nice. You're a streamer, Tim? If you stream it and I get done while you're still going, I'll send I'll send all everyone over your way. Uh, I don't, just because I don't have it. Like I, I play arena with my brother, but I play all all formats on Magic Online. I love Arena's sweet. Oh no live. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we're going to keep it. We're going to find a threat, but. Okay. All right. So I think we're playing against the Phoenix deck. And I'm fairly certain that I'm going to have to push something. Let me cycle this first. Nice. I can either stub or push something, and they might their hand might develop more after this turn, so I'm going to wait on my thought sees. Okay. Oh, live poker, I mean, okay. Okay, we're looking for land. All right. No Gurmag. But we can still Thought Seize and hold up seven interaction. Do I want to fetch a basic? None of my red cards do anything. I don't want to get clowned out by like. I'm going to need another land to get a Steam Vent. It's black, 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 yeah. I don't want to have to fetch shock to stub something. We're going to be a little punished here if we find a death shadow, but we already have a Gurmag Angler in play. We'll have a Gurmag Angler in play by then, excuse me. I kind of want to take this Crackling Drake. Because by the time it gets into play, it's going to it's gonna draw them a card. We're going to have to push. Might not be able to push it. Maybe pretty liberal with my Stubborn Denial. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to take this Drake. Hopefully they... Uh, I will stub the Manamorphose if they let me force spike it. It is, but it's not great with Gurmag Angler. And, like, it's not great. Okay, so they drew that. Okay, they're just going to pass. So we're going to get Phoenix next turn. All right, that's a nice draw. <clears throat> so I'm just tapping out for this Gurmag Angler. I'm going to hold my fetch land to push this Phoenix. And then the turn afterwards, I'm definitely just going to... Uh, the turn afterwards, we're going to Stubborn Denial the Manamorphose. Because we know our opponent's hand. And we're just going to kill this thing now. Whoa. Okay. 
So we're going to go to six, which is a little dangerous. But they're not going to have a lot going on. I think that was a little loose for my opponent. I should time I should do this timing right. It shouldn't be lazy. Okay. A discard spell would be nice and a death shadow would be nice. Those are our top draws. That's not great, but it plays if our opponent plays like a uh, thing in the ice. Okay. <clears throat> opponent has one card. They haven't played a land. I can get greedy and just go snap push, but that doesn't change the clock because it's still a three turn clock. So we're just going to stub this. And I might flash in my Snapcaster Mage because that means they're dead to a fetch land in two turns. <clears throat> No, I can't flash my snap catch my only have one blue. Derp. Okay. So that's me put another angler on the board. Let me look at my I mean I'm definitely gonna attack here, so let's just my opponent wants to chump. Maybe I shouldn't give him the option to chump. Probably shouldn't. Because in the thing that is best for my opponent, another thing. So I put second Gurmag Angler on the table. They have to chump block one of them. And they have one card, and then we have a draw step. Neither of my Snapcaster Mages are that good. But Battle Rage is lethal if they don't block. I think I'm going to play another Angler. Because, like, they're going to have to do it off of one card and, like, chain into it. And the second Angler puts them in the Abyss. And if we... I mean, it's going to be, like, we're, we're, we're kind of walking a tightrope here. But it's not bad. It's not really what we want, but... All right, ops. I put a card on top. So they have thing X. Pikachu meme. Well, now I just attack. Can't do anything else. We have to block both. <clears throat> okay. I don't think my position is that good. Uh, y, X, C. Because, like, if they chain and they hit, like, a lightning bolt, then I'm just dead. You know? And, like, I have a, a couple draws that do just get me. <clears throat> okay. 
right. Okay. That is how she goes. Ah, uh, this lightning bolt's not that good. Third snapcaster on the draw is pretty clunky. I'm going off Michael Rapp's cyborg guy that he posted. My list is 74 to 75. It's basically 75 out of 75. I just cut the cast down for Terminate because I've been getting beat up by um, I've been getting beat up by like Kalidas or uh, Welding Jar lately. Yeah, I just just talked about. All right, we're going to get back into it. I'll, I'll look more at the chat afterwards here. I'm just trying to focus a bit more than normal. Yeah, we're going to keep it. The double surgical is a little awkward, but we might be able to, like, you know, we might be able to thought seize a card out of our opponent's hand and take another card. Second draw is nice. This is a this is an explosive draw. Like this is a turn two five five. If we want it, like I you know I don't I don't know if we're exactly gonna want it with a stubborn denial. So we're looking to take thing in the ice. I might surgical thing. Thanks for the help and legacy, by the way. Don't think I told you. Oh well, I, I heard your shout out, Tannen, and I really appreciated that. I kind of just want to take thing, surgical thing. Because his hand is super weak to thing in the ice, and we might just be able to like, kill our opponent before anything matters. I mean, we're definitely taking the thing. Like that, there's no question with that. I think I'm just going to surgical the thing, because like the cards my opponent are looking for are second land thing in the ice. So I'm just going to take thing, surgical thing. Could take ops. If if our opponent fell asleep at the wheel. Okay, so we'll take this. And then we have to check out how they sideboarded. So they've got, looks like they've got one beacon bolt. I hate how the hand doesn't stay revealed when you surgical somebody. Okay, so they've got, the only ways they have left to win, they have a random Pyromancer's Ascension. They have two Crackling Drakes and then the Phoenixes. This is their only, they have one more Snapcaster Mage, and they have two ways to kill Gurmag. They have three ways to kill Gurmag Angler. Something that's kind of cute here is, like, you could Surgical Ops right here, because if they miss, then you time walk them, they don't get the loot. But I think that's probably just too cute. We got all of them, so we're going to pass. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of dumb. Okay. So we know they have a lightning bolt. We have two lightning bolts. So running out this shadow could get a little sketchy. Well, we could actually just counter one of the lightning bolts with a surgical if we want to. <clears throat> there. Are, oh, we're still in my opponent's draw step. Okay. Wow, they got rid of both bolts. Okay. So.
So this is gone, this is gone, this is gone. Well, now we're just going to play a 3-3. Three, three. Because we can surgical our way to make it large enough to get out from under a lightning bolt. And we can surgical to turn on stubborn denial if we want to. And we just want to put a threat on the board. So let's have our opponent ditch two lightning bolts. We could have gotten cute and uh, hit that opt right there if we wanted to because we knew they had that in hand. But I'm not really about that life. This, this surgical has Arclight Phoenix written on it. Unless it's like winning me the game otherwise, which it might. Snapcaster Mage. Okay. So now I'm just going to respond to this by surgically and faithless looting. Because this just makes Arclight Phoenix much worse. They have a Beacon Bolt, which is a little scary. So they have Arclight Phoenix, Beacon Bolt, Chandra. Yeah, Chandra, a four mana stubble card seems pretty slow. Okay. There's a big angle. Oh, this is nice. Because now we get to plan accordingly here. So my opponent is drawing a land. So we can't shock ourselves here. <clears throat> because then it's a two turn clock. What we are going to do is we're going to attack with. Death Shadow, we're going to play a Gurmag Angler and then play a Tapped Blood Crypt. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, we could lose this game. We're, we're a little bit on the ropes, but like, like we're ahead. Okay. <clears throat> so what's my opponent doing next turn? Next turn, their hand is just Chandra Arclight Phoenix. Next turn, my opponent's probably going to... They have to flashback Beacon Bolt to kill my Shadow. My opponent's just going to block my shadow. They're going to go to eight. Then we attack them to three. We're at six. We attack them to three. They play Arclight Phoenix. Put us to three. I'm going to bobble myself and see if my top card's relevant. If my top card's relevant, I'll cycle into it. If it's not, then I'll just save the life points. Inquisition doesn't do anything. So now we're just going to turn them sideways. <clears throat> this beacon bolt is for like 42. I guess there's, no, there's more than eight. Oh, wow. Did I pitch this? 
Now I want to cycle to find a stub. This was all stupid. Like Snapcaster Mage does it too. My opponent's not going to do anything else. They pitch their Arclight Phoenix. We're going to cycle this. Because if I hit another Street Wraith. Okay. That plays. That plays. So if the last card is. Their last card. I'm not sure we're beating a Lightning Axe here. So I'm not going to Inquisition. That's the. Well, they could have a Dispel or something like that. So we're going to Inquisition. The Lightning Axis, all right, go team. Handle them. And that's round one. All right.